Hello, I'm Akira Shikawa of NSCP, Nagasaki University Hospital, and a medical student of Nagasaki University School of Medicine. Here, I'd like to summarize our paper entitled Breakdown of Lung Framework and an Increase in Pores of a Cone as Initial Events of Emphysema and a Cause of Reduction in Diffusing Capacity. We newly developed a method to observe three-dimensional structure of lung tissue up to 1,000 micrometer thick. This is how the thick sections of the lung look like. Through the observation of thick sections, we found that the structure of alveoli was a polyhedral complex made up with frameworks of fibrous tissue and alveolar membranes. We named these polygonal faces framework units as minima units of gas exchange. Pulmonary emphysema is one of the most common and lethal diseases and characterized by a decrease in gas exchange area due to destruction of alveoli. In this study, we apply the method to unveil the pathogenesis of the emphysema. Based on morphological characteristics, framework units were categorized into these four types and the number of each were counted in randomly selected fields. Also, number and size of pores of a cone were evaluated with Z-Stack images. The association of those data with clinical data and pulmonary function tests were statistically analyzed. As a result, the two most remarkable data given by multivariable regression analysis were 1. Diffusing capacity was positively associated with the number of framework units without an alveolar wall. 2. Residual volume was positively associated with the percentage area of all pores. Based on our results, we drew a cartoon showing progression of emphysema. First, Alveoli start to show an increase in the number and size of pores of comb. Second, the framework and alveoli merge and break down, probably because of mechanical stress and inflammation. Then eventually, the remodeling of asana results in airspace enlargement. In summary, we found a basic architecture of the lung and early pathogenesis of pulmonary emphysema by three-dimensional pathology. Thank you for your attention.